Oh, real world. David Solito, BBC News, Coventry. It's like time travel, isn't it? Well, I'm amazed how emotional they were. I you know. know. I, I find it hard to believe that you put on a headset and you really, f- you feel it. You're not just seeing it. But you and f- then you leave that room, you go back out into daylight in Coventry. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I swear I saw Matt in some of those pictures. The only ones <laughs> no, in the field. he's too young, remember. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to talk about this again a bit later. We'd love to hear your raving memories this morning, so do get in touch. It is time now, though, to get the news, travel and weather where you are. See you in a second. Good morning from BBC London. I'm Tulu Adeoye. Ukrainian refugees have started arriving in London after fleeing from the Russian invasion. Alla, a 27-year-old IT worker, is now staying in a hotel. She's been telling BBC London about leaving her home when the war began. I was trying to stay in my flat and I couldn't stay because I was so afraid. It was really so scared. Even when you hear some noise, you like can sleep because you're afraid. Now we uh, we in the UK, we know that we safe. We really appreciate so much what uh, so many people help. Today marks the year since the creation of the National COVID Memorial Wall in central London. Bereaved families from across the country will travel to the wall on the Albert Embankment, which is thought to be painted with over 100,000 hearts and dedications to loved ones. A petition will also be submitted to Downing Street, calling for it to remain a permanent memorial. A court has issued a warrant for two brothers aged 12 and 13 accused of burgling some of London's top hotels, including Claridge's and the Four Seasons. The younger sibling is also accused of burgling the television centre in White City and is said to have targeted other offices within the complex. The boys are too young to be publicly named. More people are visiting London's West End, but numbers are not yet back to pre-pandemic levels. It's just over a month since all COVID restrictions were lifted, but the latest data from the new West End company suggests footfall is still 16% below March 2019 levels. Let's take a look at the tube situation then this morning. Uh, There are minor delays on the Metropolitan Line and then just that ongoing park closure on the Northern Line for major work. Weather now with Kate Kinsella. Good morning. We're going to notice a change in the weather over the next few days. It's not going to feel quite so warm and we haven't got too much sunshine either. Quite a misty start this morning. Temperatures mid single figures first thing. Some outbreaks of rain. It is going to stay largely grey through the day. The rain perhaps clearing a little further south through the afternoon. But temperatures just 11 Celsius. We are going to feel that difference. Now overnight tonight we still could get some spots of rain. Largely cloudy. A few breaks in the cloud. The minimum temperature low single figures down to three Celsius. Now for Wednesday, you can see the colder air really starts to push south coming in from the northeast. So it is going to feel chillier through the course of Wednesday. Again, we've still got quite a bit of cloud and feeding in from the northeast some further showers. Now temperatures tomorrow managing somewhere between seven and ten Celsius. It's overnight Wednesday and into Thursday where that front moves south. The back edge of it could turn a little bit wintry where it runs into that cold air. So we're looking at sleet, snow showers potentially overnight into Thursday. Shouldn't last for too long. Still a few wintry showers for Thursday and temperatures feeling quite cold. I'm back with the latest from BBC London in half an hour. Plenty more on our website. Until then, have a lovely morning. Bye-bye. If I were to ask you, where do you come from? What story would you tell? The BBC and the Open University, a unique partnership. This is what we're going to learn to do together. With limitless opportunities. Biggest cranes in the world, biggest lifts in the world. I don't want you to listen to me. I want you to listen to the science. It's amazing how powerful microorganisms are. Oh my goodness. People are listening. The BBC and the Open University, bringing learning to life. Hello there. Good morning. Welcome to Breakfast Today with Sally Nugent and John Kay. Our headlines for you today. A service of thanksgiving for the life of Prince Philip takes place later with a last minute decision about whether the Queen will attend. The actor Will Smith apologises to Chris Rock for slapping him on stage at the Oscars, saying his actions were unacceptable and inexcusable. Ukrainian delegates arrive in Turkey for peace talks with Russia, but hopes aren't high. For-